What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be going over my free comic book day pickups. Got a decent little stack here, so um, I'll get into it. And I also have something at the end that I'm going to talk about with that, but uh, I'll do that when we get there. So I'll go over my free books first. I don't even have these bagged and boarded yet. I uh, I had no idea there were so many books, but I'm just going to go over these really quickly. I'm sure you guys have seen them a bunch. But I pretty much just grabbed everything that I saw was a key. One key collector, so this is uh like the first ultimate Johnny Storm or something like that. And then this is just the Blood Hunt. Uh got the absolute power. This is uh I think it's the first Jester, the Joker's dog. Uh first nightcrawler there, that's pretty cool. I grabbed this Conan, I just thought. Conan was cool. This is a key or something. Uh Grab the Hellboy. Then I got the uh, the Pokemon. Um, this one is has like three first appearances, something like that. And then I just grabbed this one. So, I don't know, I think I might try and sell those. I really don't want any of them, but... I mean, what was I not going to grab the free bucks? So I got those. Alright, and then... Got some new books, like maybe three weeks worth or so of, uh, new books, so, got this, uh, Vengeance of the Moon Knight number five, I still haven't read this, I need to read it, um, yeah, cool cover there with Tigra, really like the artist that they got on this, um, got a couple spawns, got both covers of 352, I only pulled the variant, but when I go there and I see the, the other cover for just three bucks, I usually end up grabbing it now, so, Got both of these, but I thought this was a really cool cover. Got the Jackpot and Black Cat, Adam Hughes. Love grabbing anything Adam Hughes and anything he's making now, I'm probably going to pull. So, And it's Black Cat, one of my favorite characters. So that was an easy pickup. Got this Power Girl number eight, the Mark Brooks, which is an homage to an Adam Hughes cover. Um, this was actually like his second version. I remember he posted, or they had, you know, originally showed a different cover, which I actually liked more. And then I guess he redid it and made this one, but I think it still looks good. So, uh, yeah, grab that. Then I also got this, uh, Catwoman number 64, the Nakayama. I'm pulling all these now as well. So, um, yeah, got that. So those are the new books. I got a couple back issues. They were 20% off. I got this little three issue set here of uh, Flashpoint Deathstroke. These were actually, I've, the first time I went into the shop, they had these and I never bought them. I just always found something else. But then finally, um, after going there for probably eight months, I, uh, I finally grabbed this little three issue run. Um, obviously Deathstroke's one of my favorite characters, but um, I still haven't read the Flashpoint. I've watched the movie like five or six times. I really want to read the Flashpoint, the, the big omnibus that has all the miniseries and stuff. I think that'd be really fun to read, but it's expensive, so uh, maybe I'll sit down and read this at some point. But uh, yeah, those were cool. So I ended up paying like 10 bucks, which is about what it's worth, but that was okay. This one's really cool. This came out uh, very early on when I started buying new books, um, and I didn't get it. I didn't see it came out till like the day it came out. Um, and it wasn't, it. I went through like three different local shops and none of them had it. And then what do you know, my the LCS I go to every time, uh, they just randomly put in their back issues. So I was so, so excited when I saw this, um, I was going to buy it at some point off my comic shop, probably for, you know, three, $4, but, uh, finding it in person, I was so stoked because that is just such a sick cover. I mean, that is so cool. That's easily one of my favorite Destro covers I've ever seen. And it's just a cheap nothing book, so that was really cool. And then the last book from Free Comic Book Day, um, I got a Batman number 615 from the Hush series. They had a bunch of these, but um, I think I'm going to kind of treat this like Invincible if you've been watching my stuff. Uh, I pick up like an issue of Invincible every time I go, or I used to because I, I bought all of them. Uh, but I'm probably going to try and grab one of these now every time I go for $5 because it's not really a crazy deal. 
but I think it is really cool. So got that. And then the other thing I kind of mentioned, um, that was actually my second stop on Free Comic Book Day. My first stop was a different collectible store that's uh, not just comics. It's a big part of their store, but they also have like sports cards and all kinds of sports memorabilia stuff. So they were having a, a huge sale where they were just pulling out stuff out of the back, throwing them on tables like it was a yard sale for a dollar, five dollars. Um, they had uh, short boxes for ten dollars a piece. But the problem was they had they had listed, they you know sent out an email. And they were like we were gonna have twenty five cent comics. I was like okay this is gonna be awesome. And I get there, and they had a rack of about twelve or fifteen short boxes, and it said they were ten dollars each. Um, you couldn't mix and match. You just had to grab it, which kind of pissed me off because that, that's not twenty five cent comics. It was just their dollarman books, but it wasn't. It was mainly just their indie dollarman books, which is just like. Exo Man of War and uh, John Sable and all that junk. But I did find a box that was okay. And I pulled out four books for myself. So I spent $10 on four books, but also I pay like $6 for a new short box. So I was happy to get that. Um, so what I'm keeping for myself is this Deathstroke cover on Superman. Um, this uh, Gen 13. J. Scott Campbell. And then these two Martian Manhunters, which I just uh, put in key collector, and apparently these are minor keys, so that's kind of cool. Didn't know that. But I do have sitting right next to me a full short box of books. And there's some okay stuff in there. I'll pull some of this stuff out. Um, got this DC Universe uh, Superman Action Comics. That was cool. And again, I spent $10 on a full short box and I needed an empty one so I gotta try and sell this stuff now. There was also this um action comics with booster gold. I might end up keeping this, I don't know. I like booster gold, um, but this was one of the better books in there, so like I, I kinda wanna at least make my money back or something. I don't know. Uh but yeah, that's a really cool cover. And it's kinda you know, there's like another ten like uh, action comics and Superman titles. There's a couple of Batmans. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the stuff. I got the short box right next to me. I got this Batman 646. Um, so that was a decent book. But um, I found one thing that was really surprising. So they had a, a few of these Lone Wolf and Cub. I have like another seven issues in there and they're like thicker, they're like almost trades. But this is issue 44. Um, uh, looks like it's the last issue in the run and sometimes they sell for like 20 bucks. So that was a really, really cool find there. So I was really stoked about that. So I, I put the lot up for like, you know, 20, 30 bucks. So hopefully that can uh, get me a free short box. And then the last thing I'll show here, they also had this, uh, pretty cool Gen 13 trade. It's got, like, the first six or eight issues. And this, again, is, like, a $10 book, so that's pretty cool. Um, I wasn't really sure. I kind of, like, flipped through it, and I saw it was DC stuff, so I was like, okay, this is the one I'm gonna grab, because everything else, like I said, was just, like, really bad indie stuff. There was one that had Savage Dragons, but Everything else was so bad, so I took a shot on this. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I got a ton of stuff there. I've already made a bunch of money off it, so that was good. Uh, but that's all the stuff for Free Comic Book Day. But I also just got... I literally just opened up a box from Whatnot, which I haven't bought from in forever, so that's going to be fun. That'll be a cool video. Got some really up stuff. And I got another really nice uh, auction house win, so... That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and uh, thanks for watching.